Hi, it's Dwyer. It's May the 3rd, 2019. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about structuring the Danny Jacobs, Saul Alvarez bet based on current odds. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now here, we're going against the public, right? I fully expect the underdog, Danny Jacobs, to win the fight. The later money is breaking, believe it or not, toward Canelo. So right now, you're getting a plus 333 on Danny Jacobs. What they're telling you is that if these fighters fought 4.3 times, Danny Jacobs would win one time. Canelo would win 3.33 times. I think that's absurd. I think Jacobs is the better fighter. I already have a prior video on this. The purpose of this video is to discuss the hedge. In the earlier video, I said, look, Canelo hits very hard. You want to hedge Danny Jacobs simply to win with Canelo by knockout. Well, let's do better than that. Because of the current odds, believe it or not, the over under on the fight is 10 and a half rounds. That takes you to the midway point of the 11th round. Right? Again, the over under is 10 and a half rounds. That takes you to the midway point of the 11th round. And believe it or not, the under 10 and a half rounds is a plus 200. In other words, the odds makers don't think in a fight involving two of the harder punchers in boxing. The odds makers somehow don't think that either guy will get stopped inside of the first 10 and a half rounds of this fight. Rather than hedge the play with Canelo by knockout, why don't we at two to one odds hedge this play with both guys by knockout in the first 10 and a half rounds? Understand that's what an over-under is. So the updated play I'm recommending is Danny Jacobs at a plus 333. Hedged with the under 10 and a half rounds at a plus 200. The reason why this is better than the prior hedge I recommended of Canelo by knockout is that if Danny Jacobs stop Saul Alvarez before the midway point of the 11th round. Folks, you win both sides of the hedge. On the Danny Jacobs simply to win side, you win a plus 333. On the under 10 and a half round side, you win a plus 200. Let me also point out that if Canelo stops Danny inside of the first 10 and a half rounds, you're good. Because you would collect a plus 200 on the under 10 and a half round side of the play, which would cover you on the Danny Jacobs simply to win plus 333 side of the play. Finally, let me just say, it's a little after 6 a.m. here on the West Coast on May the 3rd, 2019. I fully expect the odds on both halves of this play to tighten, right? There's no way anyone who follows boxing, who understands that Danny Jacobs has only lost to Dimitri Pirog, one of the better fighters of the last 30 years, right? Retired, unbeaten. And Gennady Golovkin, 
There's no way anyone can think that he should be a better than three to one underdog against the guy who had, let's face it, two photo finish fights against Golovkin. So again, the bet I'm recommending is Danny Jacobs, the underdog, to win the fight, plus 333, hedged with the under 10 and a half rounds, which right now, on May the 3rd, 2019, is going off at a plus 200. But I need for you to understand the risk involved, and it's substantial. If, as Carl Frotch believes is going to happen, Canelo is awarded the decision in Las Vegas, a situation that's happened before. You lose it all, right? That's the risk we're taking. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Let's do this one better. If there's a casino offering spectacular odds that you want to identify here in the comment section of the video. If there's a prop being offered by a casino that you want to identify here in the comment section to this video, go ahead and do so. Let me just say too, that it's the responsibility of everyone watching this video to figure out the legality of sports betting in their jurisdiction. Understand all risk here is yours. Proceed cautiously and wisely. Thanks for stopping by.